Today on Film Right, we mess up some faces. I'm saying we can line you up in post. All we have to worry about is dialing in the light. Hey guys, there's a beehive outside the front door. I don't know how long it's been there, but the point is, I think I'm allergic. Does my face look different? Uh... It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say a little different. It hurts. Not like a ton, but enough to make me think that I need medical attention. You look messed up. I ate one. What? Of the bees. Well, I ate one. Why would you do that? Because I think I'm allergic. Right. But you, why? I like honey. Okay. I think you might need a doctor. I can see music in here, colors, Ryan. I'm, I'm gonna call someone. Yogurt and yogurt are the same thing. Just sit tight. The government's lying to you. I think I'm allergic to bees. Mother of Jesus. Why well, happens if you get stung in the face 15 and a half times? The square root of Monopoly is James Cameron. Logo. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes mystery out of the effects and techniques. Go on some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. And before we get started, a lot of people have been asking me where I got the vintage song that we used at the end of our short bar brawl. This one. I want you to go with me everywhere I go. That one came from our friends at Musicbed. They have a whole vintage collection, which is a bunch of exclusive older music from Sun Records with stuff from Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, and so on. So check out the notes to a link to the song that we used and to their whole vintage collection. But moving on into today's episode, we got the idea because a few people around the office have been obsessed with Snapchat lately. Holy hoo hoo. And Filmwright actually has a Snapchat now. So if you feel like following us for some BTS goodness, check out the notes for that too. But on top of all of that, we've partnered with HitFilm to get you guys 50% off HitFilm Film Ignite, which is a collection of over 140 plugins that work in After Effects, Premiere, Hit Film, Final Cut, Motion, Nuke, and more. But I'll get into more of that a bit later. Stop looking at me, just look away. The best part about this effect is not the actual effect itself, because let's face it, how many times are you ever gonna use this sort of thing? It's very specific and intentionally a bit off, but what's great about it is the technique used to create it, which can be used for all kinds of awesome goodies. So let's jump right into After Effects. We have our shot here, which is the most difficult since we we pan quickly and rack focus, and what we're going to use is After Effects built-in face tracker. First thing we're gonna do is duplicate our footage, then go ahead and hide the lower clip to get it out of our way for now. Then on the top clip, I'll grab and circle mask around Josh's face. Then once that's drawn, you can always double click the point here to make it a selection for easier refining like so. Next, we're gonna go to our tracker window, and if you haven't seen this before, it's a bit different than what you're used to, but incredibly easy to use. This is your mask tracker. You can have the mask just track position or any of the other parameters, but what we're gonna do right now is face tracking with detailed features. So select this and then find the spot in your clip that has your actor with their most average resting face. Then click here to set the resting face and then track. And it does an insanely good job of it. You can see that we're getting all the points along the eyes, nose, mouth, and all around the edges of the face as well. And even when the camera does the quick pan with that motion blur and then rack focuses, the tracker doesn't skip a beat. But once the track is done, we'll set the mask here to none so that we get the full image back and then look down here and we can see that we have this data on our clip that we can now have effects follow. So for instance, if I grab an image or text of some kind, alt click the position point of that image and then parent it to the point that I want it to follow by grabbing the lasso here and dragging it to that selection. And then for this, we're gonna go to nose bridge. And now you can see that it's on there really well, but we'll delete that image and then bring the duplicated clip to the top, mask around Josh's face again, go to the tracker again, but this time we're gonna select face tracking outline only. I'll let it do its thing. And then in the end, if I solo the layer, you'll see that we only have a floating face. So the background has been removed and we can concentrate just on the face. So basically all the roto work has been done for us automatically. Next, we're gonna start adding in effects, but before we do, sponsor. What are you doing? I like sour things. Want some?
If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, innovator, domain.com is a place to go when that next idea hits you. I know you've probably heard the list of available domain extensions is growing, but you now have the opportunity to name your site and build your brands in ways that was never before possible. Choose from a growing list of 400 plus domain name extensions like .com, .org, .design, and .club. And to show you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices when you buy domain names, web hosting, and email. Just use the coupon code FILMRIGHT at domain.com's checkout. And we think domain names, think domain.com. Logo. So we have our track and our face separated, so now we can start adding some effects. We need you. I need you. Which for this, we're gonna be using those HitFilm plugins that I was telling you about before. This is a pack of plugins called Ignite. It comes with over 140 plugins, everything from basic blurs and color correction to more advanced grading tools and VFX tools like lens flares and particle systems for blood spray, fire, lightning, and a plugin just for making muzzle flashes. And some of these are similar to what you have in After Effects already, but the reason I'm so excited about this plugin pack is that it all works inside Premiere. So without ever having to go to After Effects, I can add in some solid effects now and of course it's available for Final Cut and Motion as well. But the best part about this is that we have partnered with HitFilm to get you guys 50% off the HitFilm Ignite pack. So as of today and until June 27th, you can get the pack for half the price by using the coupon code FILMRIOT50. There is a link in the notes with the code as well. So you know, get that. The square root of James Cameron's Monopoly? That's not right. But back in After Effects, we're going to start adding in our effects, and we're gonna be adding those onto the layer where we separated his face from everything else. The reason for this is to keep it from distorting the background as we add effects. So first, I'll add something like the twirl effect from the hit film Ignite Pack, then I'll alt-click the stopwatch for position under center, then pick whip it to the tracking points that we made in the other layer. Again, I'm gonna go with nose bridge. Then mess with the parameters until you get something that you want, and that quickly, your actor's face is completely jacked up and tracked perfectly. To get the final effect, I just added a few instances of bulge and twirl, parenting each to the spots on his face that I wanted it to affect, and there you go. The government's lying to you. You can also use this for other effects like color. Create an adjustment layer, mask around the actor's eye, adjust the anchor point to be right in the center of what you want, then alt-click the position for the adjustment layer and parent it to the pupil of that eye. Now we can add the color temperature effect from HitFilm Ignite, warm it up to introduce some red, then change the blending mode to soft light, duplicate that, parent it to the other pupil, and adjust the mask to fit the other eye, and now you have a messed up looking red eye effect, almost a zombie or infection style eye. But the last thing I did for the effect was to add that redness to the actor's face. I did this by creating a red solid, then masking right around the center point, then parent that to where you want the mask to track to, then adjust the mask to fit that area, put it into the overlay blending mode, and then add hue saturation plugin to adjust the red to a darker look, and we finally have this. Does my face look different? So there you have it, and of course our finished effect is intentionally cartoony and not one that you would often use, but still fun. However, the technique has an unlimited amount of possibilities, so mess around with that face tracker and see what you can come up with. And again, make sure you check out HitFilm Ignite. You only have till June 27th to get that 50% off, so make sure you jump on that right here using the coupon code FILMRIOT50. Link is also in the notes, and I'll see you guys next week when I save a lady mole from a giant donut.